Hello all, welcome to a new video from Autobot YouTube channel. So in the last videos, we have seen how to bulk delete uh, the records from the entity. Also, we have seen how we can create uh, records in uh, entity via bulk upload as well as uh, uh, using the different activities which is offering by the UI part, right? Also, we have seen uh, the different activities of data service as well as how to configure the data service and how to create a new entity. So all these things that we have covered uh, in this series of a data service, right? So this will be the last uh, video and this will be the part five uh, video of the data service feature in UEFA. Okay. So in this video, we are going to learn how you can uh, bulk update the records which is there in the entity. Okay. So that's what we are going to check today. Okay. So this is one workflow which we created as part of the uh, last video that is part four video. In this video, we have seen how you can delete uh, a, a bulk number of uh, record, okay, uh, with a single call to the data service, okay, using the activity delete multiple entity records, right? So today we are going to see how you can update the records using a single call. The activity name is update multiple entity record, okay? So for that, what I'm going to do is let me create a new workflow add workflow let me name it like bulk update entity record okay and i'm going to activities let me search for data service okay so if this package is installed in a machine you can see these uh, three set of batches and inside that you need to go to batch and here we are going to learn about this particular activity update multiple entity record so this will help to uh, uh, update the record in bulk for the selected entity in data service okay so i hope that is clear so what i'm going to do is let me drag and drop this activity and we need to choose the entity type so for this demo uh, I created an entity called demo entity and we have uh, this set of uh, fields that is name, country and job. So these are the same fields which we use for the delete entity as well. Sorry, uh, delete activity as well. Okay, so we are going to use the same entity for this update purpose as well. And I have added a few more data to this entity. Okay, so here you can see the name, then country and the job. And the first record is Sony Kumar, the country is India and truck driver. Same like the second is Navin, India, analyst, and third is Krishna, India, RP developer, and third is Merlin, UK accountant, and last one is Deepa Singapore, a scientist. Okay, so uh, just consider like if you have a set of um, data, say uh, around some thousand records of data in your entity, and you need to update some value uh, in bulk to these records. Okay, so suppose here the country name is India, right? You need to get all the records with the country as India and you need to update the country name to some other country okay or just consider like if you have a set of data uh, you have some uh, field called company name okay and uh, later there was a change in the company name and you need to update the name of the company in this entity how you can do it okay so similar kind of uh, demo that we are going to do, uh, do today so here we have three records or three rows of uh, data uh, which is having country as india so we are going to bulk update this country name india to some different country name okay so i hope that is clear so let's move on to the workflow i already drag and drop this activity update multiple entity records and i have selected the entity type as demo entity and uh, let me do one more thing let me refresh the connection orchestrator connection and let me go to manage entity okay eight fields and five records are there fine then let me create a new input record so let me name it like update record okay so a new variable got created and what is the type it is of type i collection of a uh, demo entity right so that is a type of uh, uh, the variable and here what we need to do is so the first step should be like we need to filter out the data right out of this uh, huge set of data we need to filter uh, the records which is having the country as uh, india right 
so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use query entity records okay so we need to choose the entity type as a demo entity and what should be the query mm, country equal to india right so if you do that you will get a list of records which is having the country as india right so let me name it like a outer record okay so this is of type i list of a demo entity okay so now what we need to do we need to uh, update the country name india to some different name right for that what we need to we need to create a collection okay so before to that we need to use a for each right so this out record will be collection of record and we need to loop through each record right and we need to update the name for that we need to use the for each activity for each in out record and what should be the item type it should be of type demo entity right because uh, here the out record is of type i list of demo entity so the item should be of type demo entity right then what is next we need to <coughs> add this data to a collection right add to collection and what is the value that we need to update so uh, here we have to choose this as the value right output uh, update record <coughs> update record and here we need to choose item right and what is the error you will insert okay so just to make it to demo entity so that error got resolved and now what we have uh, done we loop through uh, the outer code and we add that to a collection right so before that what we need to do we need to change the name of the country right we just need to assign a new name to this uh, country field for that i am going to use an assign activity and here it should be like item dot country and uh, uh, suppose if I need to update to um, country like uh, Malaysia, okay. So now what will happen? It it will loop through each record and it will uh, change the country name. Oh, uh, for this particular uh, I list of a demo entity, <laughs> it will change the value of those country name to Malaysia, right? To Malaysia and inside this collection, what we are doing, we are appending everything to this update record to this i collection of demo entity we are updating and in this step we are going to update everything to the uh, entity okay or to the data service so let me try to execute and we'll see what is going to happen okay so it has thrown the error like uh, uh, we haven't initialized the um update record so let me do the initialization for that uh, i'm going to use as an activity and uh, update record equal to new so this is of type collection right so i'm going to use collection of demo entity okay so that's it new collection of a demo entity and we are going through for each and we are going to update and before to that let me do one thing let me add a breakpoint over here <coughs> okay why i added this breakpoint means uh, <coughs> while we executing this command only it is going to update all the records okay through single call to data service it is going to update all the values that's why i added a uh, toggle point here let me execute the file or debug the file okay so now what happened it reached the point till uh, update multiple entity record so let me refresh this uh, entity yeah so still the country is india right so let me continue this Okay, so once it uh, execute this particular step, update multiple entity, 
this will update this country uh, name for all these three records in a single uh, data service call. Yes, let me refresh it. Okay, now you can see the value got changed to Malaysia. Okay, instead of calling our data service each and every time for each record, what it done? It created a collection and uh, using a single call to data service, it updated the three rows of data. Uh, okay, so I hope you are clear about this concept and where you need to use this update multiple entity record. Okay, so I hope we have uh, covered all the uh, activities and the configuration of uh, the data service feature in UEFA. If there is any confusion regarding any of the feature uh, in this data service package as well as with, any, uh, with the configuration of the data service, uh, please uh, comment uh, on this video and I can uh, try to solve out the issues. So if you find this uh, video useful, please like the video, please share with your friends and don't forget to give your valuable comments and please subscribe to the channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.